Terror's brand the era. My little man in terror. You probably just started rapping. You've been a fan forever. My catalog of battle balls. Rap along. Home runs ain't Barry Bonds. It's back in arms. Tag along, but my uncle on bass is not a song. Fly shit, I'm talking over his head, but carry on. Number one, a few things about Poison Pen. If aliens ever came to Earth and were looking for the world's ambassador to battle rap, they'd probably be introduced to Pen. Active in practically every era in battle rap from the 90s to today, Pen is literally everywhere. Not to mention, he is the king of reactions. Now before Pen became an authority judge or leading voice in battle rap, he battled himself. And one interesting thing that you might not know is that he battled Ja Rule. With several names in attendance including Mob Deep and Smith and & Wesson, it was certainly a highlight of Penn's career. Penn admits that he was young and inexperienced, and that this resulted in his loss to Ja. Another thing you might not know about Penn is that he's a voice actor. And actually, if you ever play Grand Theft Auto, you probably heard his voice once or twice. That's tight, bro. Can you please take us back to the Majestic now? Number two, we don't do pause. In 2014, Reed Dollars infamously said on the URL stage, Since you pussy, we gon' fuck you. The crowd responded angrily, loudly, and yelled pause. Reed Dollars responded to them, We from Philly. We don't do pause. Now here's the important part. Reed followed up by saying something significant that most people didn't hear or understand. Real man shouldn't have to say no homo. That's from Yonkers. The hardest part. Now keep in mind that Reed was battling Yonkers native, John John the Don. That's important. What Reed said was, a real man shouldn't have to say no homo. That's from Yonkers. That's the hardest part. So what did Reed mean by that? Well, what he meant was that that sentence, a real man shouldn't have to say no homo, was actually from Yonkers rapper Jadakiss. Number three, Swan and Quest McCody on TV. Now my guess is that everyone watching knows Quest McCody. Detroit Battle Rap Authority, Barbarian Battleground owner, and half of the legendary duo back in the WRCs. Some of you might not know Swan though. Swan has a long record of achievements, battling in Fight Club, the Rap Olympics, the Source's Unsigned Hype Battle Series, Scribble Jam, and various MTV Battle Series. But something that most people don't know or remember is that Swan and Quest were the focus of an entire MTV True Life. In this episode, entitled MTV True Life, I Am a Battle Rapper, True Life follows around Swan as he competes and wins in various battle competitions. During one of these competitions, Quest, who had just driven to the battle with Swan to support him, decides to enter the competition just for fun. Both destroy their opposition, and in the end, the two friends meet for the final battle. Sadly, this footage seems to be completely lost. There's no recording anywhere on the internet I can find, and, uh, you know, the only people that probably have it are MTV. And that kind of reminds me of another lost uh, battle rap related thing. Anyway, if you have any leads on footage of this MTV True Life episode, please hit me up on Twitter so we can figure out a way to maybe get this released to the public. Number four, Ice. Head Ice, the coolest dude in any room. I would say that Head Ice is the Chuck Norris of battle rap. Give any awesome or crazy scenario, you can likely put ice in it. In a previous video, we mentioned that Wolf had battled Big L. But his name, did you realize that's actually an acronym? Although he says it regularly in battles, most people don't realize that. So what does Head Ice stand for? Harlem every day, all day. I control everything. Number five, Smack's name. Similar to Head Ice, people don't realize that Smack of a Smack DVD and URL is actually an acronym. However, if you have ever seen a Smack DVD cover, this doesn't really come as a huge surprise. 